My condition before the, the procedure affected the whole family because of the care I needed to, to survive. Mr. Cheek is in his mid-80s. He lives on a farm. He's very active and been very active his whole life. His referring cardiologist sent him to us because he was slowing down and having symptoms, not able to do things he wanted to do. And he had severe aortic stenosis. Aortic stenosis is a narrowing of the heart valve. The heart has four heart valves, and these are one-way valves that allow blood to go forward and not backwards. The aortic valve is one of the most important heart valves. This is a valve that opens and closes every time the heart beats to allow blood to go to the aorta and feed the rest of the body. As we get older, up to 5% of us will develop aortic stenosis, where the valve gets calcium buildup and it doesn't open properly. And that's what aortic stenosis is. The valve, instead of opening like this, every time the heart beats, gets heavily calcified and is restricted in its motion and opens like this. The symptoms that I had were more or less fatigue. I felt like I was useless. I mean, I couldn't do anything without being totally exhausted and totally out of breath at doing things, but now I can do what I want to do. So most aortic stenosis is asymptomatic until the valve gets tight enough where people develop symptoms. The symptoms of aortic stenosis are chest pain, shortness of breath, or lightheadedness and dizziness, and even frankly, passing out. So when patients develop those symptoms and the aortic stenosis is severe, that's an indication to have a procedure to fix the aortic valve. Prior to 2012, the only way to fix this aortic valve was to have open heart surgery and replace it with a surgical aortic valve. Since 2012, the FDA has approved TAVR, which is a transcatheter aortic valve replacement procedure. And this is a way for us to replace the aortic valve by passing a small crimped valve on a catheter the size of a number two pencil through the femoral artery up across the old aortic valve and then we deploy the new aortic valve and in under 30 minutes we can complete this procedure and patients don't have to have open heart surgery. There are subsets of patients that still benefit from open heart surgery, but the vast majority of patients now are getting TAVR. A TAVR procedure really requires a very sophisticated team. It's a finely orchestrated procedure and literally from start to finish can be about 30 minutes, which is remarkable that patients can come in with severe aortic stenosis and in about 30 minutes leave the cardiac cath lab with a brand new heart valve with the vast majority of those patients going home the next day. You know, the thing about it, I had no pain whatsoever, none whatsoever. Uh, and and it, was, it was fantastic. Even the morning when I woke up, I felt so much better than I did prior to that. TAVR is a relatively low risk procedure, especially considering the alternative. And once you are uh, symptomatic and have severe aortic stenosis, there's a 50% two year survival. So when you compare the risks compared to the 50% two year survival, yes, it is definitely a relatively low risk procedure for a very, very severe disease. Everybody has been very positive and very appreciative of what Dr. Wong did and how he improved the, the quality of my life. And, and, and in return, it improved the quality of our family life. He did fantastic from the procedure and is back to his activities and feels better than he has for many, many years. I hope I got a lot to look forward to. I, I wanna play with my grandkids and my great-grandkids. And, and, and so I got a lot of life to live yet.